Hello and welcome. My name is Evan McCurdy with PM Square. Welcome to the first video in our planning analytics web series and video series. Um, this first video is on IBM's planning analytics workspace online. Um, before we start to go into this, I just wanted to do a quick summary of what is IBM planning analytics workspace and uh, why should you care? Um, and so uh, IBM planning analytics workspace is essentially a web uh, based interface for IBM's planning analytics servers and services. Um, it connects directly to the TM1 data with ways to plan, create, and analyze each of your TM1 data's contents for each different servers across multiple different ways. And uh, it allows you to create different visualizations and reports that will enhance your uh, planning analytics content and allow you to make decisions about your business uh, in a way that you couldn't without visualizing the data properly. And so um, this is a, essentially a new software that's been created for online purposes. So uh, anyone can access this with an internet connection. And so in order to access this, the first thing you're gonna do is type in the public IP address of the service that your planning analytics server is running on. So for me, it is 172.31.7.8. And so I'm going to go in and log in with my username and password. That what I would use to log into any planning analytics server. And what will appear is the welcome screen. Now on the welcome screen, we're going to have several different things and we'll, we'll cover every single thing here. Um, starting with the top left here, this is a simple IBM planning analytics workspace logo. There's nothing to click on here. It's simply decorative. In the top left here, we have a search bar. Um, through the search bar, you can search through each of the folders here on the left. As you can see, we have three different folders, shared being a shared folder structure, personal being personal to the user that's logged in, and the users folder being specific to the users. We only have one user set up for this planning analytics workspace service, so there's only one admin folder. Um, but if I wanted to search through here, if I wanted to search for the AdventureWorks book, if I had lots of books that were going all the way down the sheet here, I could just search for it right there. The second part of this right here is the new button right here, and this is the creation of a book. And so these things right here are books. And so if you want to create a new one for a new service, you would come down here and hit new book. Hitting new book brings you to a new brand new flat form sheet that's blank, a blank canvas. And on the left here, you'll see a familiar content tree, which has your planning analytics cubes, dimensions, processes, applications, and chores. And so um, everything in here can be clicked and dragged into directly into the platform and you can use uh, brand new rules and edit business rules all directly in here as well. Um, on the top right here, you'll have some different screens and different buttons to select things from. So here you'll have the ability to create new views, uh, buttons, text, images, URLs, different things of the sort, all being able to be input onto this, this flat canvas. You need to input a, a company logo, different things. Um, here in the top right is a properties window. So depending on the selection, uh, you can set the theme to dark, light, different things, set styles and colors uh, to match your company's um, color schemes and different things like that. Uh, in the top right here, you'll have the uh, simple admin uh, user button. So this is a way to log in and out of the system as well as adjust your account settings and administration settings. In the top right here, uh, this is essentially a help button. These three will take you to documentation about IBM online and specifically planning analytics workspace. And then this selection here about IBM's planning analytics workspace, when selecting this, uh, what will appear at the bottom here is the version number of planning analytics workspace that you're running. So as you can see, we're running 2.0.47 here. Um, that's important when reaching out to IBM for support issues or different things. IBM is going to want to know what version you're running uh, in order to assist you properly. Heading back to the welcome page. Um, there's additional sorting here on the right for each of the books. So if you need to set permissions for specific folders, uh, for your first specific users or groups, as well as fil filtering or sorting through, uh, depending on what you're looking for. If you had hundreds of books in here, you know, 
Uh, on the top right here, we have the administration tab, which is a separate entity from planning analytics workspace. Um, the administration tab runs on something called planning analytics administration agent. And so as you can see here in the top left hand corner, it'll tell you what version of that agent you're running. Uh, I am running version 2.046, and so uh, this is version 46 of the agent. And, and what you'll see here is it opens to this database tab, and on the database tab, you'll have each of the servers that are running. You can have one server, you can have 100 servicers. Here we have five. And so it gives you the ability to see the memory usage, CPU usage, as well as the ability to stop and restart uh, each of the services. Um, as well as configuration, you can uh, do configurations to refresh the databases from here directly um, and different things of the sort. Uh, on the left here, we have uh, our first tab of users, which will just list the users of uh, that have access to this planning analytics workspace environment. The groups will be a way to group each of the users, and that way you can set permissions across groups rather than individually setting them across from users. Um, the lifecycle management tab is a little bit more in depth and probably requires a separate uh, video entirely. But to cover it briefly, it's a way to create snapshots so that you can move planning at work, uh, planning analytics workspace assets across services. The features tab is uh, basically a list of features that can be enabled or disabled with planning analytics workspace. There's no features that can be enabled or dis disabled here because it is up to date. Um, and so this is this is another uh, tab here that's rarely used, but if you do see something here that can be enabled, yeah, go ahead and enable it. And then the final tab here is settings, um, where we have a default theme uh, and custom fonts uh, that you can set or edit and export uh, across the uh, planning analytics workspace environment. This concludes the first video in our planning analytics workspace series.